When answering the question as to the best deer rifles, a major part of the answer to that question is what, where, and how are you considering any specific rifle for the task at hand? Deer rifles are basically classed in two major groups. Those rifles that will be used in open country as in mountains or open plain states, and those that are going to see their use in timber states like Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. There was a time in my life when I lived in the state of Minnesota and hunted almost all the time in the central and northern part of the state. Heavy brush, black willow swamps, and heavy timber greeted me every day in the field. Once a year, I would pack up my gear and hunt the Wyoming Rocky Mountains for mule deer. The point here is that I needed a flexible rifle that could do the work of both open country and timber style deer hunting. I shot my first deer at age 9 with a captured World War II German Mauser chambered in 8mm. For the most part, I've stayed with bolt action rifles all my life. With the exception of one lever action, two single shot high wall rifle designs, and one lone auto loader. As such, my first choice in deer rifle has to be the Winchester Model 70 Featherweight chambered in 30-06 Springfield. You can find a more detailed analysis and comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. Number 5. The Browning BAR As part of my selection for best deer rifles, I've decided to run the Browning BAR or Browning Automatic Rifle at you, the viewer. This is only one of two auto-loading rifles I'm going to list here as others start to move into the black rifle military side of the fence. While many hunters use black rifles like the AR-10, it's not part of the classic standard deer rifle, therefore not to be considered as part of this review at all. The Browning BAR is an autoloader chambered in just about anything you want to shoot. My choice is the 30-06 once again, and with that in areas of the world that allow autoloading rifles, and there are many that do not, the Browning is a classic favorite. With the .06 you can take on any deer any place that they walk the earth. The range is good, accuracy is outstanding, and the workmanship is beyond good. Browning is a favorite of mine as you'll note in my enthusiasm as a number one product across the board in my opinion. Number 4. Winchester Model 94 As a second lever action rifle offering a turn to the Winchester Model 94 is more than appropriate at this time. Here is the rifle that won the West, but best used at closer range in timber country or around the ranch house on dinner walking through the creek bottom behind the place every now and again. The Winchester Model 94 is chambered in 3030 Winchester has dropped more deer across the American landscape than any other combination of rifles. It is the all-American rifle that has worked for a living. Lightweight, short barrel, fast lever action make this a classic game-getting hunting rifle. Scopes can be mounted on them by way of special side mount offered by Lyman, and they work because I use the system on my 94. When selecting the Winchester Model 94, keep in mind that there are a number of knockoffs on the market. Rifles with Winchester stamped on the barrel and dated at or around 1964 are very valuable. Today, the Winchester Model 94 is built as a standard factory offering through Browning Arms. These are very high grade rifles. However, be aware that some of the rifles that are built called 94 are built under different manufacturers. The Winchester Model 94 side loading uses 170 grain round nose 30 caliber 3030 cartridge. It has a straight pistol grip stock and tube magazine the length of the barrel. Some other variants are also available from time to time, but this rifle is the old school gold standard in lever action rifles. The price range is between $1,000 and $2,000 depending on new or old model builds and the date and the condition. Number 3. The Browning BLR With the shift to the lever action rifle, I've selected the Browning BLR as a very solid example of a lever gun that chambers everything in deer rifle cartridges being it's offered in different action lengths. The rifles are not only offered in those different action lengths, but also as takedown rifles for packing into high country on horse or backpack. Using state-of-the-art technology and the cam function lever design, the rifles are fast, able to take on magnum cartridges with ease, and will hold up when the weather goes to pieces or a horse rolls on the rifle scabbard. Barrels are button rifled and chrome lined. Stock are American walnut and real checkering on the forend grip and pistol grip sections. Want a weathered fighter? This rifle is also offered in pure stainless steel as well. Number 2. The Browning X-Bolt Hunter On to still another bolt action, we have the Browning X-Bolt Rifle. These rifles are offered in again several types regarding the stock, barrel length, and a vast array of cartridge types. Some models are built in selected cartridge types, while the baseline rifle is offered in the Hunter series, which is offered in just about everything that shoots. Here the 308 and the .30-06 are both offered and again a good choice if you're hunting both bush and open country. 
Browning offers the rifle in a sheep rifle variant as well, but if you're a deer hunter and not intending to get into the guided type of high country hunting, keep to the budget and stay with the Browning Hunter. As I shoot this rifle and its predecessor, the Browning A-Bolt, I can say that these rifles carry a very smooth action that has been hand work at Browning before they even go out the door. Wood quality is outstanding on these models as well. The Hunter carries the Feather Trigger System Set at a hunting weight of 3.5 pounds. All the core parts of the action are chrome and polished to a high luster. This makes the action move as a unit when function for chambering around. Regarding extracting a spent case, accuracy with these rifles can be expected to shoot at a 3 quarter MOA to a half inch MOA at 100 yards. Well above general deer rifle accuracy to be sure. Number 1. The Winchester Model 70 30 6 My original Model 70 featherweight dates back to pre-1964. These were the rifleman's rifle, as stated by the NRA at the time. I bought the rifle in 30 6 because it was right at the end of the Korean War and ammo was in very good supply, and also very cheap. My second rifle came much later and is built today by Browning Arms. It's another great Model 70, but this time chambered in 22 250 Remington as a Coyote rifle. Choosing a second Model 70 was because the first one has, still have it, served me very well over the years. The Model 70 Winchester is a Mauser-style bolt-action rifle that makes use of the long extractor, push-feed bolt-action, and carries a hinged magazine release versus a blind magazine well. The rifles today can be obtained in several variants, but the one that I like is just a walnut stocked and checkered with a pistol grip control style. The two rifles are factory drilled and tapped for scope bases and rings, and as such, I have used a 3x9 Leopold 40mm gold ring scopes and weaver mounts on both of my rifles. Scopes have changed around the varmint rifle, but the 30 6 has never been removed. And the Zero has also never been reset. And I mean never. The rifle shoots where you aim and it always has. As chambered in 30 6 the rifle works out well in both brush country and wide open western USA. With a chambering from 180 to 200 grain bullets, as used in the deeps of Minnesota, far north to 150 grain high BC flat shooting bullets in the western states, this rifle has earned its keep as a lifetime field tool in my book. Pick your bullet, pick your hunting situation, and it's all that easy with the Ot 6 in hand. When selecting a cartridge to use in a deer rifle, remember that these are not a thousand yard game takers, but rather at best 99% of your shooting will be done at 200 yards or much less. In general, all the rifles I will cover here can be operational and very effective when chambered in 30 out 6 Springfield or 308 Winchester. Both cartridges are outstanding deer slayers regardless of the range and field application undertaken. Let us know in the comments which rifle works best for you and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.